Eggnog is a very popular Christmas drink. This is not eggnog. From the archives of the Mughal Empire, presenting episode 4 of Lost Recipes of India, this is Nargil Shorba. Over the next 3 to 4 minutes, I will show you how to make this nutritious and effortless recipe perfect to warm you up this holiday season. Let's get started. Originating in the ancient empire of Gandhar of the Peshawar Valley, Nargil Shorba translates to coconut soup. The complete list of ingredients with the directions is available on our newly launched website honestcookskitchen.com. The soup is flavored with green chilies, ginger, carrots and white onions and fresh coriander gives it a beautiful light green color. The star ingredient is coconut milk. To start cooking the vegetables, I am using coconut oil since this is a coconut based soup but ghee probably would be more traditionally accurate. Whichever oil you are using, once that is hot, pop in the green chilies and the ginger, lightly saute them and add in the white onions and the carrots. Follow that with a cup of water to cook down the vegetables. You could also use vegetable stock but that usually has garlic, tomatoes and celery and these vegetables are not a part of the recipe. I don't want them influencing the flavor. Once the carrots and onions are almost cooked through, add in the fresh coriander and let it simmer. If I would have added the coriander in the beginning, it would have turned brown. If it was cooked for too long, then the soup would turn out brown instead of green. So adding coriander towards the end keeps the color fresh. When the vegetables have fully cooked, cool it down a little bit and buzz everything in a blender. Native to the ancient region beyond the present day Hindu Kush mountain range, this soup recipe made its way to India in the Mughal era, most likely under Mughal Emperor Akbar. Back to the recipe, use a splash of water to blend the soup and when it's ready, it's time to strain this. I'm using a coffee filter to strain my soup but you can use a cheesecloth if you have one. After straining the soup, we'll discard the fibers and to the leftover base, we'll add in some salt and a splash of either lime or lemon juice. Transfer your soup base to a simmering pot and add in the coconut milk. Give it a good whisk away from the flame and when everything is well combined, we'll bring this to a boil. When the soup is well heated, we are ready to plate. This recipe was definitely a very interesting find and just like that we've come to the end of 2020. This video also marks one year of Honest Cooks. We want to thank you for your support and appreciation of our videos and we promise to keep delighting you with more interesting videos, recipes and series in the new year. If you haven't already, please take a second and subscribe to Honest Cooks and share our videos to help us reach 2000 subscribers by the end of 2020. Thank you so much for watching and happy holidays from Honest Cooks.